for fake's sake, there's an emphasis in the F word here, and the claim of voter fraud. Today, as you know, is election day, and we are voting, and we are already knowing one thing for sure. A gigantic percentage of election deniers will say that the election is fraudulent. This is the first time in American history that the election results are in doubt because so many people say they are. At Queer News Tonight, we launch a new series that we are going to look at in coming months called For Fake's Sake. It's important to understand that even before the polls close today, there is statistically no voter fraud. There's not voter fraud. That's a fact. But that won't stop Trumpsters. Yesterday, an Axios Ipsos poll showed 59% of all GOP voters will blame election fraud for the party's loss, if that's what happens. 39% say it's likely. 19% say it's highly likely. For fake's sake, how do you stop the steal when there's not even a burglar to steal anything? The AP looked at states Trump claimed uh, there were steals. Nevada, Arizona, Wisconsin, Michigan, Pennsylvania, and Georgia. Georgia. Biden won all six of these states by more than 311,000 votes. Out of nearly 26 million votes, there were just 475 disputed ballots. In Georgia, for example, 129 were accused of voting twice. Only four were found to have actually voted twice. All four, by the way, voted for Donald Trump. <laughs> in Pennsylvania, 26 votes were flagged as potentially fraudulent, including a man who voted for himself and then on behalf of his son. Uh, by the way, you guessed it, both votes were for Donald Trump. Of the 470, uh, 475 disputed ballots, more than 400 were satisfi satisfied by largely Republican secretaries of state, most famously in Arizona and in Georgia. And remember, in Georgia, Trump asked Brad Raffensperger to find 11,000 votes. He couldn't. He didn't. For fake's sake, 86 judges, many appointed by Donald Trump himself, came to the exact same conclusion. There was no evidence of fraud. In fact, all voting irregularities combined amounted to just 0.000015%. I can't even tell you what that percentage minuscule number is of all of the votes cast for president of the United States in 2020. And those same ballots that were illegal for Donald Trump were argued to be legal for other Republicans on the exact same ballot. Truth is not at play here. Here is what Trump appointed appeals court judge Stephanos Bebos wrote in the major Trump election fraud ruling, quote, Calling an election unfair does not make it so. Changes require specific allegations and then proof. We have neither here, end quote. That was the conclusion. The LGBTQ plus community already knows all about this. We are targeted in the exact same way. We are painted as groomers, as pedophiles, mutilating children and embracing furries with cat boxes in school bathrooms. It's all lies, but truth does not seem to be on the ballot during this election cycle. So for fake's sake, today is the first day of a long two year battle leading to 2024. So now that election day and the fraudulent election fake news will start, our advice to the LGBTQ plus community is to stand back and stand by for fake's sake. We, we close our voting today and already the battle to control the lie begins. It's a lie. Well, a Republican. And at this point, I think every election that lost by a Republican, they're just going to blame it on voter fraud. 
it's, it's, it's a fake election. That's the point of win. the whole story. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And, there's, and they go back and forth, and you say it in the story, there's no proof to anything that there was any fraud anywhere. And where it appears it was fraud, it's just as probably just as guilty for, for the Republicans who did the fraud as the one or two Democrats that did the fraud. It's insignificant in the percentage that could change any election. And we know elections are only won by mm -hmm. several thousand votes in many cases, mm -hmm. but one or two, is, you're not finding those 7,000 votes all in the same election or same county. Yeah, and also uh, Al's, Al's article here was mentioning the Pennsylvania area uh, fake, uh, double votes and such, but in Florida, people in the villages, the infamous retirement city in out in central Florida, it also caught several people voting voting twice, yeah. also for Trump. Yeah, we. Uh, I, I think I think the most important uh, issue of the fraudulent news that are going to come tomorrow. Mm -hmm. um, we're sitting here on election day, what's going to come tomorrow and then what's going to be adjudicated for days and weeks ahead mm -hmm. in terms of uh, sifting through the election is the reality of truth is not at play. It's just like the January 6th yeah. uh, situation. Well, uh, we're refuting science. Uh, exactly, right. or or that COVID is real, or... Or fake news. Yeah, yeah exactly. It, it, yes, it's, their, it's their ploy. It's, they all, it's always it's, their ploy. It's the way to defeat democracy. Right. And that's Trump always does, is he pushes it out. Yeah. We can't make a decision because I'm going to debate that. I'm going to put it into question. So you can't settle on something because I'm bringing up a new issue, and so the courts keep extending out the final decision. Yeah. And this also goes to talk about the Elon Musk story mm -hmm. with Twitter. This is literally the the power play with Twitter and the free speech, quote unquote, but yet there's no consequences to when you say something and your act your 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 your, your platform or whatever you say is is a lie. Yeah. Like there's no consequences. LGBTQ plus news is vital for our community and for the broader world as a whole. We have enough enemies at Fox News. Tucker, Sean, and Lara are loud. We need passionate allies. Happening Out Television Network, Queer News Tonight, and It's Happening Out are literally out of the closet and into the headlines. Our community needs your support. Like this broadcast and subscribe now to ensure the growth of the entire LGBTQ plus community.